Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Smart Switch App Tutorial Part 2. And in the last part of tutorial, we created a React Native app using which we were able to turn on and turn off our Bluetooth and we were also able to list all the pair devices so in this part of tutorial we will take things further and we will uh, modify our react native code as well as we will uh, create a bluetooth switch using arduino and we will establish a connection and we will control the LED of the Arduino using our Bluetooth app. So let's get started. And to start with, we need uh, the things that we need are listed here. You can just, if you will check article on my website, I have created the list. You will need a Arduino Uno board. You will need a USB cable. You will need six male to male jumper cables. You will need one 220 ohms resistor, one LED light, one breadboard of 404 type points, and a Bluetooth module. It can be HC05 or HM10, any of it. So uh, I have all these devices here and <coughs> I have established the connection between them. So the connection should be like this that the 5 volt and ground of Arduino should be connected with 5 volt and ground of Bluetooth module and the RX and TX of Arduino should be connected with TX and RX of Bluetooth module respectively and uh, the other uh, connections are like the ground of Arduino should be connected to anode of LED so let's see how these connections we have done here So if you see, here we have our Arduino board, here we have our breadboard, this is the Bluetooth module and this is the LED light, these are 6 jumper cables and here we have uh, the 5 volt uh, uh, supply and the ground supply so these two supplies are connected to the 5 volt and ground supply of Bluetooth module and uh, here we have uh, here we have RX and TX pins that are connected to TX and RX pins of the Bluetooth module and the pin 13 here and the ground are connected to the LED and the connection is established using the resistor so that uh, there is uh, not excessive supply to the LED the power supply so this is our basic connection that we need and <coughs> that's all and then uh, regarding the code once the connection is established then we need to add this code so you need to add this code to the Arduino ID. This is our Arduino ID and you need to add this code. And you need to upload the code to the Arduino device. That is Arduino board. So before uploading, uploading the code, make sure you disconnect this uh, RX and TX cable, these two cables. And uh, after disconnection, you just upload the code and once the code is uploaded you can just reconnect it back as it is and after that let's see what we need to do in the react native part so in the react native uh, let's first understand the a bit of code that we have done so basically what we are doing in the code is that we are setting the pin mode uh, to 13 this led built-in constant uh, is uh, the specifies number 13 so the 13 number pin is set as output so that when we send the signal to our Arduino device then it leads up the 
LED as output and then we are setting up the speed of the communication as 9600 baud that is bits per second and then we are getting into the loop so if you are familiar with Arduino you must be knowing all this but if you are not familiar you don't need to con consider too much of these things uh, you can just use it as it is and uh, the basically what is happening in the loop is that we are checking if the some data is available using serial available and if data is available then we are reading the data and we are checking the data code the data code is t then we are checking if the flag is zero if the flag is zero when then we are setting the uh, output signal as high and resetting the flag to one and if the flag is one then we are setting the output signal as low and then setting the flag as zero so that's what is happening in this code and after that uh, we have our react native code here so in the react native code we have just made small modifications so what is happening is that uh, once we turn on our uh, react native uh, once we turn on the bluetooth then uh, it lists all the discover uh, discovers the available devices in this function it discovers all the available devices and lists it and uh, once we find our device in the list then we can just uh, tap the device name and it will uh, establish a connection between the device and the app and uh, uh, once the connection is established we can use the switch button this is the switch button and we can turn on and turn off the LED so that's uh, all that's happening in this code in react native code and that's uh, what we are doing in this uh, Arduino code and this is all the setup that we need to do of the Arduino <coughs> and now we can just go ahead and check our code in action so let me turn on the let me start my app so this is uh, this is our app basically and let's see how it's working so there is no physical connection between the mobile and the device and i will just uh, turn power on the Arduino once the Arduino is powered on then you will see a blinking light here and you will see a green light there so that means our Arduino is powered on just move it like this and now we can get back to our app so in our app so in our app we will turn on the bluetooth once we turn on the bluetooth we can see our device listed here and we will tap the device and once the st uh, connection is established it will uh, show a message that connection is established and then we can just uh, turn the switch on and see what happens so the switch is turned on the switch is turned off the switch is turned on switch is turned off if we go a little farther the switch is turned on turned off so our bluetooth device is working fine so 
A Bluetooth device uh, has established communication, uh, sorry, established connection and is able to communicate with the uh, our Bluetooth uh, switch. So, uh, I hope, guys, you must have enjoyed this uh, tutorial series, and you 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 will find it informative and helpful. And uh, let me know in comments uh, if you have any doubts or questions regarding this. And uh, 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 in the next part of tutorial, we will modify our code to uh, do do something better and uh, create some switches, some virtual switches. Uh, which we really wanted to do uh, with our app and thank you so much for watching.